I've been at my buddy's ranch for about the last month now. So I haven't really had a lot of time to uh, work on videos. I've, uh, as you know from my first video, I had the uh, 89 Chevy. As is obvious, I'm no longer in that. I, uh, about a month ago, actually a month ago on the 6th, I bought a 2021 Ram ProMaster. And as you can see, I have spent the last month building it out. Um, it's kind of a mess right now. I'm getting everything organized or trying to and packing to leave the ranch. But here's a quick tour. My kitchen area. My snake. That's Colombian red tailed boa named Melissa. Got all my stuff set up for her. beer 30 in northern california um i'm at adam's ranch we're drinking a lot of beer and we're going to do drunk cooking tonight so that should be fun i uh had to go get the good knife so you know it's oh god this is such a good knife wow this thing's like a freaking razor oh yeah oh it's so good come look at this Watch how it just bites in. Goes right through. <laughs> that is nice. Hardly any pressure at all required. Sorry, Adam and I are both knife guys. We appreciate a good blade. So, let's See if I got anything to stir that meat with. Yes, I do. I will go ahead and get that started. And they say, now we're cooking with gas. No, now we're cooking with magnets. Basically, we're kicking back, drinking beer, and, you know, we're at what I call Rattlesnake Ranch. Adam can attest, it's his ranch. Yes. So, uh, it's either, let's make freaky nachos, or go chase rattlesnakes. And, what time is it? Um, 10 to 10. Yeah, 10 o'clock at night, it's a real good time to find wandering rattlesnakes around here. But when you got as much beer in you as I do, it's probably not a good idea. Cooking just seems smarter. My buddy's selling his Gen 1 Vintage Delica, dude. His what? Uh, expensive knife. Oh, how much does he want? What, what? Let me look at it. Uh, so, it's in an Instagram post, so you gotta do that thing. Eh. I'm in love with these, dude. I, that's not my style. I like, I'm, you're into a folding knife, I'm more into the, uh, you know, not folding knife. Oh, uh, the folding knives are just easier to carry in California without being harassed. Yeah, but I'm not gonna stick around in California too much longer, so I don't gotta worry about that. I've lived here for over 25 years. Well, I mean, hell, I was born here. I spent most of my 52 years of life living here, so you can see why I'm eager to get back out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, all the Californians watching my video are going to be, F you, man, F you, you know. 
Not to mention the fact that uh, gas prices are 60% more here right now than they are in the rest of the nation. Because why? California is too busy building the crazy train to put up another refinery. If you don't make more than $160,000 a year, you can get the hell out of our state. Right. So this is me and my buddy Adam having a good time with beer. It's kind of funny how, like, to live here, you either need to be high income or zero income. I'm sorry, did you say that to live here, you have to be high? That too. Okay, we've got beef. We've got refried bean. Now, sloppy cook, making a mess. What's this doing to my battery power here? Down to 73%. You must have that cooktop on low. It's uh, on three, so it's about halfway. It's only taking 600 watts. Nice. Eight hours remaining if you were to run it at its current watt draw for eight whole last hours. Nice. I could cook for eight solid hours in this van. That's crazy. I mean, if you're doing like a Dutch oven situation, that could be pretty sick. Dutch oven wouldn't take this much power. Man, it's been a wild five weeks, in it? Yeah, definitely. A whole lot of work. A whole lot of work. I think the electrical problems ate up as much time as everything else because, I mean, it took, what, two and a half, three weeks to get the wood in and get everything built? Yeah, about three weeks to get the wood in and the cabinets. Got the electrical stuff put in the cabinets and then everything stopped working. Yeah. Stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. Yeah. Spent almost a week and a half playing with nothing but the uh, DC to DC charger. Yeah, all because of that stupid uh, resettable fuse. Yeah. I uh, need to still swap out that 6 for 4 on that cable so that it'll not run quite so hot. Mm, right. For some reason, I thought you already did that. No, I still need to get some 4-gauge. Uh, I ran out of the 4-gauge. Mm -hmm. I used it for the solar. Gotcha. We're almost packed. And this is how I'm managing my camera equipment and my guitar amp. The electric guitar is in the overhead compartment. So I've got all my camera gear right there. If I see something and want to pull over and photograph it, I've got all my lenses and camera bodies right there. Got my blankets and my guitar and everything stored, strapped down to the flip top bench. Got my cooler going. Currently charging my batteries. I'm at 47% and I'd like to be at full topped off by morning before I leave. A few things that I still need to find space for. The uh, woodland bucket when the bathroom is not available. I got my snake tank secured. Well, I finished the build and got everything working well enough to resume traveling. <laughs>